I think it's a love for the music. I think that's very important that you actually like what you're doing. It's not you're not doing it because you're trying to please family. You've got to want to do it, and you've got to want to love the music enough to feel that you really want to make it come alive. You know, music is on a page. It's dead. It doesn't mean anything until you get up and play it. It's like a Shakespeare play or a, anything. It's just there on the page, but it doesn't come alive until somebody makes it come alive. And I think that's the joy of live music: is that the person who loves the music enough to make this music come alive is a wonderful notion. And I want to be able to hand that down. Maybe music is the most emotionally direct way of reaching a person. Any music, but classical music or popular any music is the most direct way because it hits the emotions immediately. Because there's nothing to see. There's nothing to read or see or feel. It just hits you, and your brain just absorbs it. It's a phenomena which no one can explain. That you know, if you play a certain piece of music to someone, they can make you cry, for instance, or laugh, or whatever. And you just have to find a way of expressing what you want to express in a way that has not been done before. That really is a key to finding your little corner, your niche, and then from there you build up. And I think also chamber music is very important. I think chamber music is going to be very important in my kind of train of thought, making music with other people. So as a pianist, you can always do things, you know, form a chamber group or work with singers or violinists. So the the options are quite big. Well, my advice is actually to believe in it. You just have to believe in what you're doing. 